Welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator. In the last episode, well, we worked on a PC that had a Celeron and two RTX 3090s in it. Yeah, that was really weird. We also built a PC to run Subsim X. If you missed that episode and you want to go back and check it out, I'll put a link up in the upper right hand corner. All right, let's hop in the email. Let's see what we have for today. Here's a fix. Let's do this one. It says, hi, I'm pretty sure I managed to break something. I'll be doing something and then suddenly nothing works. If I press Control alt delete the PC just beeps. The vents look a bit clogged. Is that okay? Have you heard of AMD? They're meant to be pretty good. S. Atanton. All right, so a budget of 1200 bucks. Dang. So what CPU do they have in here? They've got a 5800X, okay. And a Regentech MYA RBW CPU cooler. So we need to replace both of those things. I think we can make that happen. Let's go ahead and accept that one. Let me open up the shop real quick. We're going to go ahead and hop into the CPU processors. We need a 5800. Let's go ahead and add that to the cart. And then for the CPU cooler, we need this Aragentech MYA RBW. All right. Pretty sure I saw a repair, or not a repair, a build that need to be done by tomorrow. Was it this one? Yes, it was. So it says, I hear you work with computers. Someone recommended you for a new PC I need built. Everyone is playing GTA 5 except for me. I'm going to need it by tomorrow at the latest. I'm a total Seagate fanboy. Don't try and pass off any used parts. I want all new stuff. A regards, Paul Woodall. So budget of four grand to build a PC that can play GTA 5 at recommended spec. I'm pretty sure I already know what this is going to require, but let's go ahead and open up. Will it run? We come down here to Grand Theft Auto 5, a recommended spec. We need 8 gigs of RAM, 8 gigs of VRAM, 65 gigs of storage. That's not even true anymore because the other day I checked my GTA 5 install, and I want to say it was well over 100 gigs. So, yeah, if he wants to update GTA 5, he's going to need more than 65 gigs of storage. We need a Ryzen 7 1700X and a Radeon RX Vega 56. Well, for his budget of $4,000, I think we're going to build him something a little bit nicer than what is listed here. So let's go ahead and close that out. Let's go ahead and accept this. I'm going to step away. I'm going to hop into the shop. I'm going to get everything for this build put into the shopping cart. And as soon as it's in there, I will come back and show you. All right, for this build, we're going to go with a Gigabyte X570 IA Oris Pro Wi-Fi motherboard. We're going to get another, which is why there's two over here. We're going to get another AMD Ryzen 7 5800X. For the cooler, we're going to go with an Alpha Cool 240mm AIO water cooler. Two sticks of G-Skill Trident Z 8 gig 4400MHz. So that's some good, fast DDR4 there. For the graphics card, we're going to go with an AMD RX 6800XT. By far the most expensive part in this entire build. They wanted Seagate. The only thing we can put in there that is Seagate would be a hard drive. So we're going to give them a 4 terabyte Seagate Barracuda. We're also going to throw in a 2 terabyte Patriot Viper VP4300 NVMe drive. To power it all up, we got the Cooler Master V750 Gold version 2 in white. We're going to add a couple of Corsair HD120 RGB LED fans. We're going to put all of that in the NZXT H210i black and white case. All right, let's go ahead and buy all of this for next day delivery. Let's go in the day, let's get everything in, and we can get to work. Go to work. All right, here's all of our stuff. Nothing from PC Bay today. Nothing. Well, dang. <laughs> all right, here's our sticky note for our build. Let's get that put on this workbench. And then here's our repair, and it is dusty. Very dusty. And here's our case for our build. We'll get that put over here. Very nice. All right, let's get started on this repair that is absolutely filthy. Let me get the side panel off of here. We're going to start off with some compressed air. See if we can get all this filth out of here. Come on. Look at this little mini ITX motherboard they've got in this huge case. Let 
Why would you spend so much money on a mini ITX? Because they're usually pretty expensive. Why would you spend so much money on a mini ITX motherboard to put in a full size case when you could just get a full size motherboard? I don't know. <laughs> it's weird. All right, let's get this cooler out. Let's get their CPU out because both of these are supposed to be broken. Let's take a look. CPU fits this PC. Theirs is broken. Let's go ahead and sell it for 24 bucks. Oh, let's get the new one installed. Let me go ahead and get some thermal paste on there. And then we need to check their cooler. So their cooler is broken. We'll get our two bucks for that. Where's the new one? Here it is. We get the new cooler installed. Cabled up. And I think we're ready to make sure it boots. Let me hop into the BIOS real quick. Do they need XMP? Yes. Yes, they do. And they're booting from a hard drive, so that'll be nice and slow. All right. We are booted. We are good to go. Let me get the side panel back on here. We will button this thing up and we will go put this in the delivery area. We can get started on this little build. All right, let me get this case taken apart. I think we need to take everything off. Let's see, anything else? Uh, no, not that, not that. This, these need to go. There we go. Man, if you had a triple slot graphics card, there is no way it would fit in this case. I think these fans also need to go because I'm putting in Corsair fans with some RGB. So let's start with those because I'm going to forget. So we'll come down here. We've got the Corsair HD 120 RGB LED fan. We've got one for the top and one for the back. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. We'll get that installed. Then, let's grab the motherboard. We got the Gigabyte X570 IAORUS Pro Wi-Fi. Let's get that installed. Let's get it ready for CPU, RAM, and NVMe drive. There we go. For the CPU, we've got the Ryzen 7 5800X. For the RAM, we've got two sticks of Trident Z RGB 8 gig 4400 megahertz. Let's get both of those installed. Very nice. And then for storage, we've got the Patriot Viper VP4300 2 terabyte. Let's go ahead and put that here. And while we're doing storage, because I don't want to forget, I know this looks like there is no place for a hard drive, but there is. We're going to put this 4 terabyte Seagate Barracuda right down there. It's right on the floor of the case. All right. Let me get some thermal paste on this CPU. We can go ahead and get the CPU cooler installed. We've got the Alpha Cool 240 millimeter AIO water cooler going in here. Because it's one of the two coolers that will fit this case. For some reason, all the other coolers try to run the tubing behind this, this little beauty panel here. And it just won't do it. I don't know why. They should all kind of fit just like this, but they don't. Okay, let's come over here. We're going to go ahead and get our power supply installed. We've got the Cooler Master V750 Gold version 2 in white. There we go. Nice thing about this case, even though it's a case for a mini ITX motherboard, it does take full-size power supplies instead of those little small form factor ones. All right, so last but not least, we need the graphics card. We've got the AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT. 
with 16 gigs of VRAM. Now we're talking. This thing's coming together real nice. Real nice. I think it's time to cable. I think it's time to cable. What do we want to do for cables? Maybe just some white? Maybe some of these, because they look nice and clean. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get everything cabled up here. Yeah, I like the way these cables are looking. Okay, there we go. All cabled up. Let's put some of this case back together. Let's put a little bit of case back together. We've got a dust filter for the front. We've got a front panel. Let's do this side panel. Oops. And we can go ahead and close the PCI lock. I'm sure we'll have to change some colors once we power this on. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and get it started up. I'm going to hop into the BIOS because I know we have to turn on XMP because we put in 4,400 megahertz RAM. We're only running at 3,200 megahertz right now. So let's get that turned on. Make sure we're booting from our NVMe drive and not that 4 terabyte Seagate Barracuda. Forgot to put in a USB drive. Let's do that. Do that before I restart. There we go. So we can go ahead and install the OS. And then we're going to change some lights. Because I... Well, it's not too bad. Let's put this side panel on. Maybe it'll darken it. There we go. Darken it up just a little bit. Okay, let me get the lighting app installed. Let me see what I want to do with lighting colors here. Let's see. So let's do this, this, and this. Did that backwards. Let's do these in red. And then let's do everything else. Oops, not that. In white. Oh, yeah. I kind of like that. Let me hide the UI. Let's take a look at this thing. A little white and red action. Yeah, I think that turned out really nice. Hopefully the customer likes it as well. We've got a green square next to can play GTA 5 at recommended specs, so we're good on that. Let's go put this in the delivery area. Let's collect some money. Get that out of our way. Let me do the fix first. Five stars. They put in a working CPU, and using it is a massive pleasure now. Well, if it had a broken CPU, chances are it probably wasn't too pleasurable to use. All right, now the build. Now the build to play GTA 5 at recommended spec. Five stars. I'm super happy with the new computer. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. All right, let's get rid of these red dots. Anything for sale that's worth buying. An i9-7960X. That's kind of old. And a 1060 for $814, I'm good. Some Corsair Dominator Platinum 8 gig, 3200 megahertz for 42 bucks. That's not too bad. All right, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Sure, let's get that. Don't want that. Uh, that case might not be bad to have. Oh, uh, let's get the case. And we'll get this Cryo Rig R1 Ultimate Air Cooler. Very nice. Those will come in eventually, and we'll get to use them in a build. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And ring the bell if you want to be notified as soon as a video from me goes live. Also, if you want to chat with me outside of YouTube, I have a Discord server. There is a link down in the description. Feel free to join. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there, and I will see you 
in the next episode.